Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Well, since the last two chapters wound up being way bigger than I expected, uh, time flies when you're going through ant mobs, I'm going to probably make this chapter a little bit shorter to make up for it, which I apologize for, but hey, if you toughed out the last two, uh, it'll balance out anyway. We are still uh, here in Broken Hills, because I said last time I had done pretty much everything uh, there were two quests I forgot about. Well, three. But I can't do one now, but, uh... Because you'll remember how we went to go talk to the chemist, and he asked us, how do you feel about mutants? And we said we like them. And he said, oh, okay, well, yeah, that's fine. But we found the evidence later that he was leading the anti-mutant movement in town, which he truly was. And he was planning to kill people. But he totally got framed for doing the stuff he was doing by Zaius and Francis in the bar. Well, they're currently locked up in the prison, but uh, something I completely forgot is that if you say, Oh yeah, I hate mutants, he'll try and recruit you into his conspiracy, at which point you can go to Marcus and say, Oh hey, yeah, these guys are planning to do this bad stuff. At which point you get... XP and they get tossed in jail. They're still in jail now, but we did not get the XP, so we can't do that quest line, and we certainly can't do the quest line where he would hire us to blow up the mine, which would send stuff into the air that would make it so the mutants couldn't breathe, and well, it'd be a bad situation all around. But two things we do need to do. First thing being, remember we never did get around to telling this bloke here about his missing wife, but it uh, looks like Typhon and the plant are hitting it off. How's the treasure, kid? It was all bottle caps! It's worthless! Well, they use caps as money anymore? You will not collect it and hide it and worry somebody's going to steal my stashes for nothing? God damn it, sorry to make you run like that, kid, if I'd known. Yeah, it's supposed to have happened to anyone. I got questions, though. Who are you? Ah, my friend, you've returned. This is quite a delightful place here. The shade is perfect, and the company is simply dazzling. That Typhon, what a kidder. He really likes my intellectual sap flow. What was that you mentioned about chess? I was about how to beat Professor Scorpion at chess, my friend. The simplicity itself, the flying liver attack, is like a fly trip to that bug. It walks right into it and then can't extract itself. I guarantee your success. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I've dabbled in cross-pollination. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, more plant jokes, but... Well, have you found her? My heart aches with every moment. Yeah, I found her. You found her? Where? And, yeah, depends on how to... Was she a hottie with no legs, or... I found her with dead people in the tunnels below the city. She was one of them. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me. I think I have to go cry. Sorry, pal. And, yeah, if you still have the note on you, you're given the option of telling him, Oh, by the way, I found out she was involved in a plot to kill the mutants. Just so you know. Oh, and then you'll notice I still have the attic flag on me. Unfortunately, something I didn't know, but I looked this up between chapters, because I, uh... I avoid drug use in Fallout for this exact reason, but uh, it wasn't until the later games that you could actually just go to a doctor and have your addiction cured, or find some addictol to remove your addiction. Unfortunately, the original Fallout games, there's nothing for us to do but tough it out and wait for this to go away. Luckily, the only side effects of buff out addiction it changed stats that I don't use much anyway. But the one other thing we must do... Well, we don't have to, but we can. If there's a refinery here... You're not supposed to be in here. What do you want? I have some ore to be refined. Great, that'll be a thousand dollars, no haggling. You want? It, you may think it's pricey, but it's a steal considering what you'll get for finished product from an interested buyer. It's a deal. Alright, give us a day, we'll have it ready for you. 
Okay, figure out how to get your Romanium or refined in Broken Hills. You gain 500 experience points. So with that done, let's go ahead and sleep till noon. Next day. Dee -dee 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 Your ore is done. Before you take it, listen. Our town really needs this ore. If you donate to the town, I'll refund your money. Heck, I'll, if you want money, money for it, I can give you an extra 500 to make it worth your time. Please, if the ask at the mine, Broken Hill needs to stay afloat. What do you say? And no way. Sure, don't worry about the extra 500. You probably need more than I do. Thanks. Here's your money back. Broken Hills won't forget this. No problem. So... We got our 1,000 back, and we got 1,250 XP, and we also, if in reserves, got a Karma boost. The catch-22 being that, uh, well, yeah, my Karma is already pretty much maxed out, but at this point we are... Yeah, Broken Hills, we are idolized now. Woo-woo! So, yeah, we got our money back and a sizable XP bonus. And now we know where we can go to refine any more uranium ore we just happen to stumble across. But that just about does it. Uh, now that does do it for our quests in Broken Hills. And I gotta notice that I'm overloaded. Which means I can't run now. Of course, a lot of that is because I'm... You know, packing multiple rifles, which I can't sell here because the, uh, the selection in the general store stinks. I've now got Tycho. Not Tycho, Cassidy. <sighs> i got Cassidy holding all of these rifles that I can't wield. And my car just ran out of power. We were staying at the Great Bridge Passageway from your village to the East Wasteland. Well, not quite. Well. Yeah, I don't think I have anything in here apart from... Random gear and possible quest items. Oh, and spare tools. Uh, hopefully the trunk will be intact. Because, uh, yeah, something else I forgot is that all the places that were selling energy cells when I can't get energy weapons yet, that's because that's what the car runs on. So I have to go someplace that sells energy cells where we can ride in style, but... Hopefully, we'll be able to get that in Reading. And we're literally just one click away from it, too. Reading is mine town. Gold, mostly. A lot of caravans come to Vault City from here. Well, I'm not about to go wandering around here at night. So, we'll go ahead and wait till morning.
What's up? You told me, happy tent man. See a farmer from Redding. You see youngster picking his nose. Are you a cannibal? Depends on how hungry I get. Okay, let's see. This is Aston City Hall. Let's see a woman who probably works in the mines. Welcome to the big city. I've seen bigger, but not many. And, uh, yeah, well, hey, casino. Have a nice day. And that door appears to be locked. Okay. Sleazy cash tender. What do you want? I'd like to trade some things in. Well, ditch the booze at least. Howdy, my name is At yeah, Fabasca Dick. Most people just call me Dick, of course. There's some that call me Fabasca. Mostly they just call me Dick, though. Dick, what do you do here? I work a spell now and then at the Morning Star. They can always use experienced help. Let me ask you something else, then. What's going on in town lately, Dick? Same old thing, mostly. All of us miners are working just enough to get to our next flight on jet. Jet? What's jet? Just this little something from New Reno. I just take enough to smooth out the rough edges. Well, let me ask you something else. Hear any interesting rumors? Well, not much except them being all them gall name wagon theme. Well, Wanta Mongols? What the heck is that? You're telling me you ain't heard of wagon Mongols? Well, sure, I've heard of them. Let me ask you something else. Nope, never heard of them. Tell me about them. Well, some say they were here before the A-bombs, H-bombs, and all what else hit. Others say they were genetically engineered weapons. And then there's them who says that they're from a whole other plant. What are they? Who cares where they came from? Just tell me what they are. Well, I don't really know what they are exactly, but I know they just shut down the Wendemango Mine just west of town a few years back. The Wendemango Mine? Yep, the Great Wendemango is the richest strike in these parts, too. But now nobody will go near it. Heck, you couldn't even buy it from Makarshi if you want to, but nobody will. Uh, who's a... Oh, a Scorty. A Scorty's the mayor. He runs the Scorty's Ace downtown. He takes care of the buying and selling things, a lot of stuff. He's right in the middle of all kinds of things. Okay, we're going with the rest of your story, then. Like I was saying, the Great Wena Mango was used to be the Witch of the Smite Round, but you could buy it for a song. I could buy it? It's worth anything? Well, not right now. It ain't. Haven't you heard the said? Anything I've said? It's all them damn Wang Nangos. But if somebody was to clean the place out, well, that'd be a brahmin different color. Heck, you wouldn't even have... You have to kill all of them. Just a different... Yeah. Well, that uh, got a little weird there with the... You didn't have to kill all of them. From different colors, like a pink pachyderm, I'm going to leave you to your delirium alone now. What do you mean? Well, there's some stuff in there that the owners of the Morningstar and the Condry Mines have a sure prey pity for. What kind of stuff? We well, see, the mines used to be dug out by big machines. Heck, these machines are built to last. Both mines got big, you know, diggers. But, and here's the money question. The dang little control chips are made so tough. Never mind, has got one that'll work. I'm not sure I understand what you're getting at. What I'm saying is that if Evermind in order would pay for any of these digger control chips, heck, if they had a whole working machine, the Evermind doesn't, they'd shut the Evermind down, buy them out in no time. Too bad here, no one knows where to get those chips then. Squeegee at your dang ears. I done told you where to look for the damn chip. Ain't you been listening to the word I said? Why no one mine had machines? They're working until the time they got the mine shut down. Probably still chips down there just waiting for somebody to come along and take them. 
Tell me about these Wendigos then. Or I'll have to go look at that. Or hmm, maybe so. Let me ask you about something else. And what's the ob at the basket mean? At the basket. That's not so hard to say. Is it crime? It's just my nickname. Do you want me to t at Do you really want to know how I got my nickname? Not really. Let me ask you something else. Any interesting rumors? Same rumor. Of course, let me ask you. And same thing as before. Ooh, player piano. Erp. Hello there. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Hello there, I'm Lou, diner or owner of the Malamute Saloon, finest house north of San Fran. Hello, uh, Lou, I'm interested in getting something here. What can I do for you? Want an empty bed or a full one? Maybe some booze or some other goods? I'd like a room with an empty bed. A full bed, that sounds good. Tell me more about that. Booze never goods? Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, what the heck? Let's see. Anything useful? Well, mind script. Ever mind script. Money. Ammo, coins, stem pack. Nothing expressly useful right away, unfortunately. Tell me about something else, though. Hello, Lou. What's going on in this town? Well, mostly we mine gold here and trade to other areas. What are you trading for the ore? We trade gold ore, or we trade gold ore to Vault City in return for medical supplies. We trade ore to the New California Republic in return for fresh brahmin and other viscals, or vixel, vicatols. And we trade gold to New Reno for your chems and booze. You mine the gold here? Yep, north just part of town where there are two working gold mines. You said that you trade the ore? Well, we trade gold ore up to Vault City in order to, or in return for medical supplies. We trade to the New California Republic in return for fresh ramen, and same thing. And San Francisco is south of here. Quite a bit south of here, you're a long ways from there. South and just a tick to the west, it's right next to the ocean. Don't you know why somebody wanted to go that far, though? Why, is it dangerous? Well, I hear all kinds of things about the city being, yeah, nothing crazy followers of some kooky religion. Crazed followers, you say? Yeah, that's right. I heard that they're building some huge device that'll let them get in touch with their gods or something like that. Don't know how much for certain it's a long ways off. Yeah, it seems like my units the gods always have some kind of trouble at the heart of them. Tell me something else. What now? What's a Malamute? Just a big dog. Hmm, I see. what's going on in this town, didn't I? Okay, well. I think that probably just put San Francisco on our map. But I'm going to go ahead and call it here and pause the game. And next time we will continue exploring Redding. We'll see you then.